I took out a 30 lakh loan to study masters in computer science in the US and I come from a middle class family. Was I being reckless? Let's find out what happened. Student loans are a big problem. In a shocking study, it was revealed that college tuition has grown almost 10 times of the growth of the salary of the graduates. So does it make sense to pay big fee to any university? I see people taking hefty loans for shitty universities where job prospects are not good. And I see good people not applying to good schools because they think it's unaffordable. And that annoys me because there is so much misinformation in the market. I took a loan because I had done my homework about UIUC and what kind of ROI I could expect after graduating from there. There are two reasons why I decided to take a loan and head to US. I talked to a lot of Indian students there and found out that almost everyone got an assistantship. Assistantships are great because they waive your tuition fee and also pay you a monthly stipend. This stipend can be anywhere between $1,000 to $3,000 a month and is enough to manage your living expenses. This meant that even though UIUC fee was on a higher side, there was a good probability that I will not have to spend as much. My guess was correct because after landing in US, I took my resumes and visited the professors relevant to my area of study, that is networking back in the day, and I found two research assistantship offers. Within a week, I had two offers and these offers not only covered my entire tuition fee but also paid me something. This was more than what I needed to study and live in US. So I sent back my loan check with pride and went on to pursue one of the greatest times of my life in the US. Secondly, I also did a good research about what kind of career opportunities or job options will open up after studying at UIUC. Being a top school, UIUC attracts all big employers on campus itself. Secondly, computer science is a very solid field and a lot of job opportunities exist. So I was pretty confident that if I worked hard, I will be able to land a job. The salaries that company paid for graduates of UIUC range anywhere between $80,000 to $120,000 per year. In fact, I got one of the highest packages on the Wall Street. But does this mean or am I saying that you should take a big loan to study at any university in US or abroad? The answer is no. I would not have taken this loan for a mediocre school where I did not know the career opportunities. And does it mean that you should go to any country or university that is giving you 100% scholarship? The answer is again, no. I had an admit from University of Kansas where the fee was very low, but I was not sure if I would get the prospects and education I'm looking for. And I wouldn't go to a university in Saudi Arabia, even if it gives 100% scholarship, because scholarship is not my end goal. My end goal is to get a fulfilling and high paying career. And if I can find a path for such a career, I don't mind paying a little for it. This is why I decided to take the loan for my education in US. So how to determine whether you should take a loan or you should attend this particular university? And the answer is you should do a ROI calculation. Consider the tuition fee, living expenses, probability of funding and potential salary after graduating to make a wise decision. I have seen expensive universities like Berkeley and Stanford giving financial aid, whereas Columbia gives no funding. And I have seen lower ranked schools like NYU or Pittsburgh not giving financial aid. So it's not a black and white list. Always do the ROI calculation for your target school. Let me add a few disclaimers here. Funding is easier for thesis or academic kind of programs like MS in CS, Electrical Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, etc. than management courses like MBA or MEM. But even in these programs, some of our students have been able to find some sort of a financial aid. I'm going to do more videos about assistantships, funding, etc. in next series of video. If you have questions, please leave a comment below and do check out our courses and workshops that we have previously conducted on these matters. All the links are mentioned in the description box below. I am convinced that a good education can not only change your future, but the future of your entire family. And you don't need to spend a fortune for it. You just need to do your homework, find out good schools which give funding for the kind of courses you are looking and attend one such school. 
होप दिस वॉज हेल्पफुल इफ इट वॉज गिव अस अ थम्स अप एंड स्टेट यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक बाय